All right, but let's go over that. Uh, you have some price this year, only because I think a lot of our viewers will say, well, yes, the price. Well, of course, yes, price. What you're really talking about is capturing uh, the cost that you have and passing them to the consumer of what you're able to do because you've got the best brand in the industry. Yeah, we have some terrific brands, uh, DeWalt, Craftsman, Black & Decker, Stanley, among others. And, you know, it is, uh, there is so much inflation that there really is no choice but to pass it on. It's, it's, it's almost, in some respects, a better pricing environment than if you, you just have, uh, you know, death by a thousand cuts inflation. So, uh, you know, massive inflation over, uh, if you take the, the combination of material inflation, labor inflation, and uh, premium transportation costs to deal with some of the supply chain challenges, it's over a billion dollars of, uh, of impact. You know, it's a, it's a 16, 17 billion dollar company right now in terms of revenue. That's a big nut. And we are going to recover 100% of that in price, some mix of new products and things like that. All right, there's a flotilla off the coast of California. And we know that it sits there as the White House tries to figure out what to do. If I were to go into those uh, car to that Navy fleet, so to speak, how much of uh, Stanley Black & Decker equipment would I find in those giant container ships? Well, you would find a massive amount. And the, the, you know, the reality is that about at the beginning of the pandemic, we had about $300 million of in-transit inventory. Today, we have about 800 million, so half a billion dollars of inventory, most of which is tied up uh, in, in process of getting from Asia to the developed markets, including that flotilla off the coast of Long Beach in L.A. Uh, there is, you know, we listened to Ford last night. They talked about ship supply maybe getting better sequentially. Uh, China shipping rates, some argue, are off the September high. Baltic dry is down 20-plus percent from the high. I mean, are you seeing directionally some relief, Jim? Yeah, we're seeing stabilization. And I do believe, you know, you know, steel is a big part of our inflation story. And I do believe that, you know, it's artificially high right now based on the uh, tariffs that exist, in, in especially as it relates to China and, you know, the protection of the U.S. steel industry and so on. I think at some point, you know, if you look at the auto demand and, you know, the demand for steel, so, so much of it is consumed by the auto industry. Sooner or later... You know, with the volume down the way it is in automotive, that that um, umbrella has to crumble, and I think that'll be a big help. But some of the other things you referenced as well certainly have stabilized, and maybe in some cases there's some uh, light at the end of the tunnel on some of those. Jim, you were one of the people who took the pledge uh, under President Trump to bring back uh, bring back a lot of a lot of business here. What's it like to find workers here? And uh, what's it like to have to deal with perhaps genuine automation, the kind of which we talk about on air, because you can't find workers? Yeah, and it's, it, it's super challenging. You know, we have about 1,600 open manufacturing jobs right now, which is about 5% of our workforce. So we've been probably more uh, successful than some of the other folks. That has to do with, you know, what we pay, what our, where our factories are located, the size of our factories, et cetera. Uh, but the automation has been something we've been working on for years. And, and so we're, you know, three or four years into a major automation initiative, major initiative to bring it back manufacturing to the U.S. Uh, and we're just, uh, it, it, you know, the capacity that we've opened up has just been consumed by the, you know, the great demand growth that we've had. Uh, and ultimately, we will bring back more volume from China, but we're going to have to open up more capacity in uh, North America, Mexico, and, uh, and the U.S., 